Hi everyone, Sandra from ForYourChi.com here with your weekly tarot card and oracle card reading for October the 29th, 2018 through November 4th of 2018. And I'm looking at these cards. First of all, I'm dressed up like this because I'm going to a Halloween party. It's not my idea to dress up like this and get on YouTube. But hey, I might as well, right? Um, we have the same card. I think that this is like three weeks in a row. It's crazy. Mental conflict. We all know it. Someone's throwing you mixed messages. Again, it's on the same Monday and Tuesday, the beginning of the week. This is crazy. So this is coming up because this is happening, but you're not dealing with it. You're like sweeping it under the rug and it's time to finally put this person in his or her place and ask them what exactly is going on here and deal with this once and for all so that you can move forward. The um, midweek and the rest of the week look great. Fulfillment of wishes, which is traditionally the Nine of Cups card. You're getting everything that you want and you're asking for right now. Make sure you're asking for exactly what you want. Be very specific because you're going to get it. And that includes prayers, okay, and affirmations. And then the card for the end of the week, the weekend, is Destiny. This is the Wheel of Fortune card in this deck. So this means great luck. And uh, don't go crazy with it, but I always tell the clients when they pull this card, buy a lottery ticket. You know, a couple bucks can't hurt. And this week's Oracle deck, it is my birthday today. And a good friend of mine, she always sends me a deck every year. She's awesome. And this deck is called Mother's Wisdom. And I just thought it was cool, and I should be pulling out uh, the more exotic decks that I have for these oracle card readings uh, for the advice. So the first one is Lakshmi. And Lakshmi um, is a Hindi god, uh, goddess, excuse me, and she is the goddess of abundance. So this is a message that there's abundance coming to you. So don't be fearful of scarcity, but rather pray for what you want, what you need, and then say some gratitude affirmations for that um, until it arrives. And this card is kind of cool, the second card, the Pythia. So she talks about intuition and specifically using the third eye chakra um, for predicting. So, and she's, the message is to pay attention. So if you get a visual hit, uh, mental imagery, you know, daytime, daydreaming, stuff like that, and you're wondering where it's coming from, it's coming from your guides and your angels and they're trying to tell you something. So make sure you write the message down and even if you can't drop everything and do it, make sure you go back to it and do what you can. Alright, so that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share my videos if you think this has helped and please subscribe to my channel so that you get an inbox every time I upload a new video. And in the weeks to come, I'm going to have an exciting announcement of some new services that I'm adding to my website. Um, I've been practicing this for five years and I'm very proud of it. And I'm just going to leave it at that for now and wait for the announcement. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great week.